All right, folks, thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. Check out my other channel, Common Sense Talks, as well. This is one of my heating and air conditioning videos telling you and explaining how to replace a variable speed blower motor with a PSC blower motor or a permanent split capacitor, a simple regular blower motor. Now there's a lot of videos on YouTube that show how to replace a ECM blower motor with a PSC uh, using either the control board and or a relay or even two relays. I'm going to show you how to replace a variable speed, which is much different. And then I'm going to explain why you need to do it this way versus the other way. So hope you enjoy this video. Smash that subscribe and like. Thanks for watching. So let's get right into it. I'm going to explain what we got here and what I'm doing. Okay, so first off, we've got a York modulating furnace. So this gas valve can open and close kind of like the 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 stove in your kitchen so low flame all the way up to high flame with multiple flames in between uh, so it's got a little coil here and it modulates also got a variable speed inducer motor that's going to modulate with this coil it's going everything's going to speed up and slow down we've got a communicating control board so we had a variable speed blower motor that had its L1 and L2 tap and its ground tab. And then it had its logic, its controls, 16 pins. So telling it what speed and everything and, and checking in on its condition and what's going on. So if you were to replace the normal blower motor in this with a PSC and just two relays, well, what will happen is you tie it in with your call for heat, right? And what will happen is, is the unit will turn on, it'll start to heat, the blower will come on instantly. And then the second that the furnace turns off, the blower will shut off as well because your, your two peanut relays don't have timers in them. So then what will happen is the unit will get real hot. And if you're in a cold area or you're running at night, what will happen is the unit will turn on, off, on, off, and it'll start to short cycle and it'll trip the limit switch and this board will say the blower is bad something is wrong and it will lock the unit out and it won't work all night long till you wake up nice and cold and you pull the plug and you reset it or you go to the breaker and you trip it and then flip it back over reset the brain and the furnace will work all day long however if you want to avoid this problem and do it correctly what you're going to want to use is a fan sequencer. So what will happen is we're going to turn this on. It'll start to heat and it'll actually allow the heater to warm up instead of kicking the blower on right away, which is what this would do. And this will allow it to heat up for about 20 seconds and then we'll energize the main contacts here, turning the blower on. Now, when the thermostat has met its temperature and it's going to turn off, this relay will allow the blower to run for a continuous 40 to 110 seconds, which will allow the heat exchanger to cool off so that the unit does not have problems with its logic thinking that there's something wrong. And uh, that's really the only solution to this. Now, this particular reason we're doing this and not going with OEM is this is a York. This is a very expensive furnace. The blower motor in here, our cost is 1300 bucks we'd have to sell this to the customer for 1500 to 2000 easy uh, just to make a profit and then right you call around and we try to find the blower motor and they don't have any in the entire United States and the factory doesn't have any and there's no lead time on when one would be available meaning they would need to buy a new furnace. And this happened before Christmas. So we got them heat through Christmas and New Year's. Um, and, and by putting the sequencer in here, we, we just avoid all the issues that we may have normally. So hope you enjoy. And that is how you change out a variable speed blower motor with a PSC. Now here's the part that I'm using. So if you want to look it up and check it out yourself, it's a Q101. It's called a fan sequencer. I used to call them heat sequencers because they're really only on for the heater. So um, 
but some systems will have two, one for the air conditioner, one for the heater. But most of the older systems would have this for the heater and just a time delay for the air conditioner. So hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.